Hey guys, just thought to do a quick video on three key takeaways uh, as we calculate uh, the refractive index of a medium. Okay, as we all know, uh, we just covered in a previous video uh, how to actually calculate the refractive index. Refractive index is given as sin i over sin r, where i is the angle of incidence in a vacuum and r is the angle of refraction in the medium. Okay, there's another formula which is actually easier uh, to calculate, easier way to calculate the refractive index, which is to use the ratio of speed of light in vacuum over speed of light in medium okay all right uh, so what what are the three takeaways that uh, we want to point out here okay these are very common mistakes and some of them are pretty useful hints that you may actually use uh, to make sure that you use uh, the formula well correctly and calculate your refractive index and nail it every time okay let's go okay first one First key takeaway here is uh, okay, as light travels from vacuum into glass, you will notice on the left over here the light bends where? How does it go? Absolutely right, towards the normal, right? But what about if it goes from glass to vacuum? It will travel away from the normal. Okay, so in the first case, uh, this is my I, this is my R. In my second case, this is my I and this is my R, right? Because this angle of incidence, that's how it approaches. First approach in the glass first, then goes to the vacuum, right? Okay, so my first key takeaway is this, okay? Uh, when you are using this formula, let's say sine I over sine R, okay? Are you ready for this? All right, in three, two, one, boom, okay? don't use the arrows okay in other words when i am looking at i don't just look for i oh i is my incidence because if you are looking at i as my angle of incidence you will only be correct half the time the other half of the time when my light ray is incident in the glass you will be wrong okay so in other words what do you use you basically need to make sure your eye is always the angle in the less dense medium and r in the more dense medium okay so uh, this is i over r which is why in a formula we actually put in here it's always angle of incidence in the less dense medium and r is in the more dense medium okay the less dense will uh, actually be known uh, most of the time it will actually be air Okay, which actually brings us to the second point. Okay, what's the second key takeaway? Um, second key takeaway is that since my angle of incidence is always greater than my angle of uh, refraction, not exactly, but since my, because in this case, the other way around, right? But if I can say it well, properly uh, is uh, since my angle in the less dense medium will always be greater than angle in the more dense medium, that means sine i is more than sine r, okay? This is the cheat sheet that you can always do and use in all your calculations, okay? And what is it? It is n, your n value, your final n value must always be greater than 1. So anytime that you find that your n value is actually less than 1, you know, okay, something is wrong. You probably uh, mixed up your formula along the way. So you just basically just need to backtrack and uh, just uh, check your work again, okay? All right, so uh, the third point, uh, which is why I mentioned earlier, is always a good pro approximation for what? Okay, can you guess that? Okay, because in uh, on, on Earth, it's pretty difficult to get vacuum. So most of the time, vacuum is a good approximation to air as when it comes to uh, refractive index calculations. Okay, so just a quick recap on the three key takeaways. Okay, uh, when we use formula, okay, uh, the sine I over sine R to get refractive index, don't, don't look at I and R as a incident and refract. Uh, refracted ray okay look at it based from the angle of uh, is it my angle in the vacuum or is it the angle in glass so in this case if i were to solve it this way my refractive index is sine i over sine r correct because my i is in the vacuum which is less than medium right okay but in this case can you guess what's the formula that's right it's actually the other way around it's actually sine r over sine i because i want to look at angle of incidence you notice my angle don't worry about this is not refraction but basically the angle must be in the vacuum okay so actually why why is this like that okay that, that is mainly due to the principle of reversibility of light okay that means if light go, fall, goes in one direction uh, if it bends a certain way in one direction, if it goes in the opposite direction, it will bend exactly the same way, okay? So when you use the formula, you, you are basically just using the same 
uh, you have to substitute the same angles, right? Because you're looking at the same medium, right? Correct. Okay, so my second key takeaway, just to recap, is that the uh, N value is definitely always greater than one, just to make sure of that. So if you you find your N value, let's say 0 0.87, you know, something is wrong. Okay, you probably got your reciprocals mixed up. Okay, and finally, it's also a good approximation. Most of the time, uh, we use air uh, to replace vacuum because, because although our definition states vacuum, uh, but uh, most of the is most of the time in 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 on Earth, it's pretty difficult to get uh, that stereo. Okay, all right. So I hope you enjoyed this three key takeaways for refractive index of a medium, and I hope you nail that formula every time. All right. I'll uh, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys in the next.